I thought that she'd be safest in here. One of several such establishments I own. You're a funny man. Huh? A very funny man. Ned! They weren't thieves. They didn't steal nothing. They even left something behind, Your Grace. It's the king's hand you're addressing, not the king. The king is hunting. Fish. The sigil of House Tully. Isn't that your wife's house? Tully, my lord hand. These men, are they flying a sigil, a banner? None, your hand. The one who was leading them, taller by a foot than any man I've ever met, saw him cut the blacksmith in two, saw him take the head off a horse with a single swing of his sword. That sounds like someone we know. The mountain. You're describing Sir Gregor Clegane. Why should Sir Gregor turn brigand? The man is an anointed knight. I've heard him called Tywin Lannister's mad dog. I'm sure you have as well. Can you think of any reason the Lannisters might possibly have for being angry with your wife? Uh, if the Lannisters were to order attacks on villages under the king's protection, it, it would be... That would be almost as brazen as attacking the hand of the king in the streets of the capital. Well... I cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king, Robert. Lord Beric Dondarrion. You shall have the command. Assemble 100 men and ride to Sir Gregor's keep. As you command. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I charge you to bring the King's justice to the false knight Gregor Clegane and all those who shared in his crimes. I denounce him and attaint him. I strip him of all ranks and titles, of all lands and holdings, and sentence him to death. My lord, this, this is a drastic action. It would be better to wait for King Robert's return. Grand Maester Pycelle. My lord. Send a raven to Castle Rock. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. A bold move, my lord, and admirable. But as it lies to yank the lion's tail, Tywin Lannister is the richest man in all the Seven Kingdoms. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. And how come Robert is king, and not Tywin Lannister? <laughs> 